So, uh, Molly, I just wondered what your initial reaction was when you read the script for the first time and why you said yes to it. Um, I just thought it was really funny. Um, and I hadn't read anything that um, tackled this age group in this age of technology where you do have access to learn things at such a younger age. So I was excited about um, doing that. And then Seth Rogen and Lee and Jean, I just felt like great people that I was excited to learn from. Yeah, and you mentioned Seth, who was one of the producers. Yeah. Um, how much time did you get to spend with him on, on this? Not too much time, um, but he has two producers from his company um, that were on set the whole time. And they have a very unique way of making movies. It's a lot of alts and a lot of improv. And so it felt kind of like a comedy boot camp to get to learn the way that they you know, have made movies because a lot of his movies are some of my favorites. And have you worked that way much before where lines are kind of thrown at you? And how, how do you like enjoy working? Yeah. Like that? Um, Life of the Party, they, they, they do a lot of that. Um, this was even more than that. Um, yeah, I think the more that you do it, you get, you feel more safe with it. But it's really fun because you kind of don't know what you're going to get every day. You, you don't really have to come with your lines memorized because they can shift on the day. Um, so it's a very different experience than just like normally making a movie. And I imagine it must be quite sort of energizing and refreshing being around such a young cast. Can you tell us a little bit about your, totally. your working with your co-stars? Yeah. I was definitely like, the, I would get tired, you know, they're like boom, 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 and I'd be like, I need to sit down. Um, but they're so lovely, so professional. Um, they, they like, you know, they're the leads of the movie. They set a really great tone, and we all just followed it. Um, but they're all so silly. Um, and I think with actors can be a little guarded. The first few days you work with them, and you're kind of feeling each other out. And the first day they just, you know, had open arms. And so it was fun to just work with people that weren't that self-conscious in that normal kind of actor way. And they're all kind of about 11 or 12, I think, when they made yes. the film. And obviously quite a bit of stuff in the movie is kind of outside of their experience and, mm -hmm. and knowledge. Uh, did they ever ask you any questions about what was in it? Of course they did, and I would just say that I, I didn't know it as well. Um, but, you know, and, and uh, I think that age is kind of the time that you're, you're starting to discover that I was asking a lot of questions at that age as well. And have you kept in touch with any of them since the, the film wrapped at all? Yes. Um, Keith sends me beautiful, sweet texts, and sometimes he sends me things that he's painted. It's very beautiful. Um, but it's crazy. I just saw them yesterday, and they are so much. They look so much older than they did a year ago. It's That jump from 11 to 12 is such a big jump. Uh, yeah, a year makes such a big difference. Yes, it, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and I guess in the, in the kids' eyes, your character Hannah is kind of the villain of the piece in a way. How yeah. much did you enjoy that aspect of the role? It was really fun. I, I hadn't, I, I've never gotten to play someone um, that kind of just doesn't really care. Um, and it was fun that the humor came from her just being mean to them. <laughs> it was very fun. Um, I mean, when I was younger, we had um, The Goonies and uh, films like Stand By Me. Yeah. And then more recently, we've got Stranger Things, obviously, on, on TV um, and the It movies. What, what do you think adults get out of watching movies that are kind of focused or, or TV that are focused on kids? I think it's because, um, you know, that is the being having middle school times are like the unifying thing like across party lines, across everything, we all had a bad time in middle school. And I think uh, it just is the funniest time to look back on. It doesn't matter where you're from or what you believe in, like you were weird in middle school. And so I think just there's great art that comes out of that time. And what were your own memories of um, being that age? I'm sure sort of making the film kind of took you back there a little bit. It definitely, definitely. didn't mean watching it. Yeah. yeah. No, I was reminded at just <laughs> how awkward I was and how and how much I wanted to kiss a boy and how it felt like the biggest thing in the entire world and how, yeah, how boys just felt like this other species at that time. Um, and how now I'm just like, ugh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just wondered which was your favorite uh, scene to shoot in the movie because there's so many funny moments in it. But Yeah, yeah I, I loved that first kitchen scene with the boys where Jacob's trying to get his drone back. I just think um, it... It sets up the movie in a great way, and the kids were so funny in it, and so many lines didn't end up even making it into the movie um, that were so funny. It was just so exciting to see how smart these 11-year-old boys were. And you're building up a great body of work of um, a lot of comedy movies, mm -hmm. and I just wondered who your comedy heroes are in, your, in real life. I think Melissa McCarthy is, like, my comedy hero forever, um, not just because 
of how talented she is. She's just such a good person. So I, she's like the, the number one. And then we have like Maya Rudolph and Will Ferrell and Kristen Wiig. Um, but yeah, I, I think Melissa will forever be my comedy hero. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!